Well, hi there, boys and girls. I just got to say hi to Triple H. And in case you don't know who that is, that's Happy Humza Halapoto. Anyway, I uh, got a really short video today over ArcLink. It's how to find total distance traveled along a path. You've got one formula if you're working in X's and one formula if you're working in Y's. And it's just the integral from A to B of the square root of 1 plus the derivative squared. It's pretty straightforward and fairly easy. So let's just find the arc length of the graph of the given function over the indicated inter interval. The very first thing that you are going to want to do is you need to find the derivative because that's what's in the formula. We have to find the derivative to square it. So the derivative here in A is 3 halves x to the end. Remember, it's been a long time since we just took a derivative and that's it. You just subtract 1 from that exponent. So that's 3 halves x to the 1 half. So there's dy dx. So my arc length is going to be the integral from a to b, and in this instance it's 0 to 4, of the square root of 1 plus your derivative squared. And so I'm just going to put that in parentheses, and I'll trust my calculator to do all of that. Your derivative squared dx, and I'm not going to actually pull up the calculator and do that, but that would be the arc length of that graph, how far it travels along that curve. Also in graph form, when you put it in y equals, there's an arc length command, and you can just tell it between what two points. Uh, one more example, this is all y equals in terms of x, so I'm not using this bottom arc length, but I'm trying to find the arc length um, between 8 and 27 of this graph, and your very first step is you want to find the derivative, dy dx. So your derivative here, we'll bring the two-thirds down, the threes are going to cancel, and we're going to get 2x to the negative one-third power. That's your first step, just find the derivative then your arc length, as for arc length, I don't know why, but that's what we're using, is the integral between 8 and 27 of the square root of 1 plus your derivative squared. So 2x to the negative 1 third squared. That is all you do to find total distance traveled dx. I'll see you guys tomorrow.